I think that pastoralists are experts in improvisation when dealing with difficult situations. And most of them do it more in a way which is not so much panic mode or um, alarm mode, but more in a matter of fact way. So why is this so? I've been thinking about why is this so? And I have tried this little exercise to translate uncertainty, or this is the term certainty, into the languages of um, pastoralists, agro-pastoralists agro that I've been working with in southern Ethiopia, and the word cannot be translated. Which is interesting in itself. Um, but one can try to translate the concept and I would try or tried it this way to say, so if you are not sh sure what tomorrow brings in terms of food, livestock health, basically life, so what do you think about this concept? And people would look at me and say, well, that's our everyday situation. And the best translation we found is actually a tough situation, a tough reality. And pastoralists um, deal with it more because it's every day. They have an everyday toolbox to deal with this. And it's more about capabilities and knowledge, which is combined in improvising with a difficult situation, a tough situation. And I think this is very important when we want to think about how to deal what we would call uncertainty what other people would call tough situation. And this outlook on life, this is, I think, the, the real opportunity of thinking about uncertainty, um, using the lens of uncertainty when looking at pastoralism. Um, I think that pastures with this lens that we talked about, uncertainty, can scrutinize the term, what is uncertainty, who thinks how about this way of dealing with challenges. First scrutinize it, um, who is defining it how and who is dealing with it, in which way. So pastures with this comparative analysis and with th this academic rigor in different levels can, I think, has a huge challenge and opportunity to think deeply about these concepts and about the future of pastoralism as well.